can't feel my face What am I smoking anyway? She said don't let the high go to waste But can you taste it? Little taste No Novocaine, baby My name is Monica. If you didn't already know that, you should subscribe to me. And you should like this video because this is my nighttime routine. Um, it is currently 5 a.m. No, I did not just get home. I got home at like 1.30. And like, I've just been sitting here watching Netflix for like four hours. So that's where I'm at right now. No, I'm literally just so exhausted and I don't know what to do. So like, I'm just gonna record me taking off my makeup and showing you guys how like you should do it. You guys are my only motivation to be doing this right now because I swear to God, if I wasn't recording myself, I would just fall asleep with these lashes on. If it applies to you, please take off your lashes first. And the correct way to do them is to just peel them off as best as you can without pulling out too many eyelashes. Okay, this is just not, pretty, not gonna be pretty. I'm so sorry in advance. way you put away your false lashes so you hold it kind of like up to your eye so like I took this one off my right eye so I have to place this right here and when you move it back over it's gonna look like it's on the opposite side because it kind of is like this is my right eye and I'm, it's on the left side of this yeah so just put them on like that because that's kind of how you're just supposed to do it I just noticed that I actually don't know why it's like that do you know how many times I've like put them on, put them backwards back in the case and then actually put them back on my eyes backwards? And I didn't realize till I was like out too. Like I didn't realize when I was, till I was like at the fucking bar or club. I don't even know where I went. We put them back in the little plastic thing, in the little thing with bobber. And then throw them all back in this case. I'm so bad at this. By the way, if you're wondering, they're scarlet, I guess. Okay, so I'm taking my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I think these wipes are like, okay, honestly, the Kirkland ones are the best. Who doesn't love Costco? But like, I don't have them right now and I only have the Neutrogena ones. So I like to make them better by taking my mini um, Neutrogena micellular cleansing water. For the life of me, this thing will not, I swear, I promise you, I swear for the life of me, that thing would not focus. I like to pour it onto the makeup wipe because it's like, it's like a cleansing makeup remover water thing and it's really good. But just pour a little bit on your makeup wipe if it's not like strong enough because like I wear a lot of heavy makeup. But yeah, I just feel like it just doesn't cut it sometimes so put on the wipe. So tonight my, my Netflix had the audacity to ask me if I was still watching 90210. Like, of course you prick. Like, of course I am. Like, do you not see me here, like, melted into my bed? <laughs> like, sometimes I like to see if I can make, like, abstract art out of it. Like, I like the makeup smudges. Like, how does this one look? I actually kind of like it. Because there's, like, the sparkles and stuff, too, this time. So the trick that I was talking about with um, getting the eyelash glue out of your lashes is taking one of these things. It came in one of my brush sets. It was the one I got off of my, my makeup brush set. I got this brush from them. So this is like a comb on the top part. So I use that and I brush it through my lashes like kind of, I guess, like a comb. So pretty much brush it through and it just kind of like grabs all the excess glue and shit. Be careful not to poke your eye out, by the way. Like, I've, done, I've almost done that a couple times, and it's been kind of terrifying. I think lash glue is like my kryptonite. I can never seem to win. Um, next, what we're going to do is I currently have a prescription-grade acne medication that I've been using. Uh, I got it from my doctor. And it is called clindamycin. Clindamycin, phosphate gel USP 1%. I don't really understand this shit, but maybe you will. 
I've just had really, like I've talked about, I've had really bad acne recently, and like this is the only thing that's recently cleared anything up for me. A really good dupe, I guess, of this for at the drugstore is the Clean and Clear Spot Treatment. That shit works like a dream, almost as well as this. If you can't finesse your doctor into <laughs> giving you one of these on um, prescription, because they're kind of hard to get, um, then I would recommend going over to CVS and getting one of those, because they're only like 20 bucks. Which is a scam because I was on Amazon and they're an add-on item for $5 if you buy at least $25 worth of stuff. So pretty much just dab a little bit of it on your finger or you can apply it directly. I like to put it on my finger first. And you just put it on the spots that are affected. So like right now I'm like trying to treat some like old scars that are still going away. Either my parents had acne growing up and like they both told me like they've never had acne. And like, I never had acne in middle school or high school, which was weird because that's when most kids had acne and all of a sudden, bam, adult acne. Once you've used this and kind of like rubbed it on the spots, um, you should really let it dry fully. So when you apply your moisturizer, it won't like move it around. It's already dried into place. It's not really going to affect it. While I wait for this to dry, I really want to discuss something with you guys. I know in my skincare video, I recommended Nivea. But I just want to let you guys know that I retract that recommendation because I hate this moisturizer. Because the moment I stopped using this for like a couple weeks, I stopped being oily. I was talking about how like I have such oily skin in like my last video. But the thing is, I'm not oily. I was at the Sephora counter and I asked the girl, I was just like, what's my skin type? And she's like, you have normal skin. If anything, maybe a little dry, but normal. And I was just like... Um, I guess this is good if you have like really dry skin because this honestly is such a heavy moisturizer and I had to stop using it to realize that and I think maybe that might have also been the cause of me breaking out. Who knows? Either way, I feel a lot better and my skin feels a lot better after I stopped using it. The acne medication is dry now um, and since we are no longer using the Nivea one, I'm currently on the hunt for the perfect moisturizer. I one day dream of finding the perfect moisturizer, but until that happens, I am using Sephora samples that I went and got the other day. This one is actually the Tatcha Water Cream. This stuff is actually really amazing. I really like this Tatcha moisturizer. Too bad it is $68. I've been like savoring this moisturizer for like a couple days now, and I'm gonna use it right now. The good thing about this moisturizer is a little bit goes a long way. So like I don't even need that much, which is why I've been able to like conserve so much of it. Like there's still a lot left. And I'm just gonna kind of like pat that into my skin because I recently also found out that moisturizer is supposed to be mostly patted, not really like moved around on your face. It's supposed to be kind of like pressed in almost. And then patted. Which is really cool. I didn't know that. So this is my eye cream. It is the Skin Fix Brightening Eye Cream. It is amazing for under eyes, dark circles, um, wrinkles, and just overall everything like eye related. Honestly, it's the best. Okay, so put a little bit on your finger, dab it in the corners of your eye, and rub the rest underneath. And then just rub that into the sides. You know, you don't want crow's feet. Rub it in up top a little bit above your lid. You don't want baggy eyelids either. And then you just rub the rest in under your eyes so you don't have any eye bags. Because if they're not Chanel, we don't want them. This is the last step of this routine. This is something new that I've recently been doing. This is a bubblegum lip scrub from Lush. It is amazing. It smells. Take a little bit. You apply it to your lips. And you just like, I don't know, you just scrub it. And then you can lick it away when you're done. Cause it, I mean, it's vegan, so you can eat it. It's just sugar. Oh, it looks so ugly doing this. Now that you have scrubbed your lips, if you choose to, the last step I do every single night before I go to sleep, no matter what happens, I always put on a Burt's Bees chapstick. But put this on at the end of every night because it's the only thing that heals my lips or like makes them feel better in any way. Thank you so much guys for being here. If you have honestly watched through this whole video and you don't think I'm crazy by now, you're a real one. 
and you should come back and you should subscribe and you should like and you should comment and you should tell all your friends not to watch this video watch my other ones because they're a lot better good night everyone i am going to bed i'm gonna go brush my teeth and i'm just gonna head in bed it is currently 5 47 like i said if you like this video please like subscribe tell your friends tell um anyone that you think would give a shit about my channel good night guys